Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing this makeup look, this smoky eye with a green lower lash line and I am trying Makeup Factory products. So if you want to know how I created this look, what I used and what I think about their products, please keep on watching and of course like this video, comment something if you want, share it with friends and subscribe to my channel. So first I'll start with this makeup base, it's a primer and I think it's a silicone based primer. Oh yeah, it looks like this and I'll apply it with my fingers. It feels nice, it feels silky. Oh, and I used uh, this uh, lip balm from Makeup Factory. It's Lip Up Super Repair Balm. And I'm using it for a day or two. And I really like it. It's super comfortable on the lips. And actually I think it's uh, repairing them because they were pretty much in mess. So I think they're okay now. Next I'll apply foundation. I don't have their foundation so I'll use this Wet n Wild one. And I'm in the shade Golden Bay. I have a full video about this foundation. I'll link it below and somewhere here or here, I think here. But spoiler alert, I like it. But I did a wear test and everything so if you want to know more about it just check that video oh and I have a new sponge I already used uh, this sponge it's from Real Techniques it's their complexion sponge but I haven't used it for I don't know six months or so because it was very dirty and it was old and I didn't buy a new one and yesterday I bought that, I think it's new one, I don't know, but I didn't see it before. It looks like this, like this top, it has this edge, but down there, uh, down here it's pink. And I really like this sponge, so I decided to try that one also. And when I came home, I saw uh, that the, that sponge was supposed to use wet, uh, I'm sorry, dry, and it was so hard. And I, I mean, I don't want that. And then I saw it was filthy in here, dirty, I don't know from what, so I went back to the store and I replaced it with this one. And I hope it's good as I remember it to be. Oh yes. So first impressions about this primer, uh, it was okay, I don't see anything looking bad or patchy or anything. My foundation glided. All those kind of silicone primers are mainly for oily skin or normal to oily skin so I don't know how it will be on my skin but for now it feels pretty okay next I have a concealer I won't lie I tried it a bit I mean I just wanted to see shade and it has this clicker Ooh. <laughs> and products product comes out like that and it's okay shade I like it it's maybe a bit too light but it's okay and I like this kind of concealers if they work but I used many of them like this with this clicker and they were broken so it's okay if it works but it if it doesn't you can do nothing with that concealer so I mean 
it's okay, it really brightened my under eye area, but coverage is, I don't know if you could see it, but coverage is, I would say, light to medium, it's not full coverage concealer, looks like this, as I said, it's okay, I think it's light to medium coverage, maybe medium, but it brightened really nice but I feel my face um, like it's becoming more matte I think it's because of that base next I have this fixing powder uh, you could see all of these uh, products on my Instagram stories so if you don't follow me I will leave my name in the description so be sure to like my posts and follow me there so it has this puffy thing in here and this I don't know how to open this um, I don't know what to do so I look like this so I'm okay <laughs> Pack packaging not my favorite thing but uh, this is very finely milled so it was very easy to clean it now I'll apply this okay this this feels uh, very very nice it's silky it's so finely milled i really like this product but packaging is i think this is travel size so maybe bigger is better i don't know next i have this eye lift corrector it's like eye base uh, shadow base it's a bit yellowy and it's creamy like that, it's pretty pigmented. So now I'll apply. Oh. And I don't know if I said it, but I got all of this products from Makeup Factory, it's for their the next makeup artist challenge and I'm in first 500 so I'm still in the challenge so please go and vote for me, I will leave a link below in the description box, I would be really really grateful and I think, I don't know, uh, I need to do uh, two looks one is cut crease and the second one is a calligraphic liner so i think maybe cut crease will be uploaded before this video okay so now for the eyeshadow i got this quad it looks like this it it's called it's eye colors in num number 14 bronze tre treasures they are all like satiny finish, satiny shimmery and you get this applicator which I don't know if anyone likes this but okay I'll swatch it for you oh they're really nice so this is how they look oh, I found it it looks like this it's mono black eyeshadow and it's called 02 black coffee i think i'll do a smoky eye today first i'll start with this uh, fluffy brush and i'll use this shade it's second lightest so next i'll use this shade with a bit smaller brush and I'll apply it on my outer V and in my crease next I'll use this darkest shade with small shader brush Ooh, it's pretty pigmented and I'll apply it 
over my whole lid but it has a bit of fallout oh it's okay show you now how you can go from day to night I have this eye designer liquid eyeliner it's eyeliner with a felt tip like this but I showed I showed that also on my story it can be really really thin line or a really thick line so I'll try and do thin line very easy to use I'll use a bit of black shade and I'll try and smudge this eyeliner it's pretty pigmented black also oh and this dries to a matte finish and it dried pretty quick I smoked out a bit my eyeliner and I think this looks pretty good I really like it so next up we have this eyeliner it's a green eyeliner it's in the shade 12 it's this green olive shade and it feels really creamy I'll apply this in my waterline On the other end it has this smudger sponge so I'll try and smudge this with that I mean it did what it's supposed to do but it's it's a bit stiff and hard and I don't know I would rather do this with my brush I have this beautifying lip primer it looks like this it feels really nice I can hardly feel it on my lips but I can feel some kind of hydration it really it feels pretty nice So for highlight I mixed these two shades and it looks great. I really like it. Whoa, look at this. And it really glides on this primer. understood lip primers I mean but now I get it this look this feels great I'll try this L'Oreal lip paint matte it's in the shade dead lips so guys this is the completed look I like this brand and I will recommend it to you so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, comment something if you want and of course subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching, bye!